Hello my SQL learners. So in this session I want to teach you the basics of using explain or explain plan in MySQL. All right, so now let's just let me just show you the table that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to be working with that table called products underscore one and it's got some na you know product name, product type, price and if the product is a book it will have an ISBN number uh, attached with it uh, and then there's a quantity column so these are some uh, basic columns that you would see in an e-commerce uh, online store so let's get started by just looking at the indexes of this table so this basically has two indexes uh, one is a primary key index uh, which is on the product ID and the other one is uh, an index on the ISBN column and this is a unique index actually. So let's get started by uh, picking a, a simple query that we are going to uh, kind of like optimize using explain. So the, the query that I'm going to be using is this. So I'm going to be selecting ISBN from this products underscore one table where product name uh, has cat in it so or the product name is cat okay so and before I run this query I'm going to look at the explain plan of it and I'm going to put a slash g at the end so I get the output in the in a readable format so first of all uh, it gives this output right and select is just one straight uh, simple select that's what this is showing but the main thing is we are working with uh, or this particular row is referring to this table and apart from that actually you have all these columns and then they are all null right now like they don't make much sense apart from this so this is a typed column and all means that it is doing a full table scan uh, basically mysql is doing a full table scan it's scanning the whole table and how many rows is that it's these many rows and we are using a filter over here it gets all those rows and then it filters the output and basically a you know there's about uh, 600 uh, rows with product name equals cat right so the filtered percentage is like 10 percent basically and then there is some extra information let's go ahead and create an index on this table create index called you know we can give an arbitrary name and and I'm going to create it on products one table and the column is product name of course this is the column on which I'm creating the index actually let's just go ahead and run the explain again so this is the explain plan and that's how it looks so basically you can see that the Again, it's pretty much the same kind of output, but this time it is also showing some data for all these columns. So first of all, possible keys column shows like all the indexes that this query can use and and out of which like this is the key or index that it is, uh, you know, it is going to use this particular execution is going to use and this is the key length in bytes actually right the number of rows that is being scanned uh, in this key which is 589 and uh, you know since this is index based we're not really filtering data rather we're just going to the index and getting the data so there is no filtering over there let's actually create another index which also includes ISBN and uh, see like what happens actually I'm going to create the other index 
and give it a different name so let's go ahead and run the explain plan again so now again the possible keys are uh, these two indexes but it still chooses to go with this particular index and the index key length is the same and then rows and etc etc so there's no filtering that happened right because we're choosing an index so you might be wondering like you know why it's not using uh, uh, the covering index right so this is supposed to be the covering index and uh, covering indexes are supposed to be better than normal uh, non-clustered index or a secondary index so you can actually like uh, use a format like JSON format to get more information so how you can do that is by just specifying like format equals JSON and uh, use the use that and so that's going to give you the output in json format and you can see that the you know it gives you a little bit more information as in like the query cost you know this is how much it's going to cost for mysql to execute this query and this is you know a representation of the amount of work uh, mysql has to do to run this query actually so the cost for this one is 7690 right and then again it says these are the possible keys and uh, used key is used key parts is product name uh, which was not given over here and then there's a cost info uh, which is uh, a split of where the cost is going so you can read mysql documentation on all these um, fields you know you might be wondering why the covering index is not being used and uh, we can actually force that index by using this uh, use index uh, uh, syntax or use index uh, keyword and then I'm going to put the index name that I want to force which is this one and when I run it this run the explain plan this time it shows the cost of this one is going to be 109.27 uh, you know in comparison to the previous explain plan where the cost is only 76 and this is why uh, MySQL is going with this particular plan instead of this guy okay I hope this uh, session was useful. I will see you guys in my next session.